Welcome to my channel guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to create a Minecraft server completely free for an year. Even after that year you can have that server for a really cheap price. So without further ado, let's get to the video. So if you don't know what Google Cloud Console is, it's a cloud computing platform provided by Google. So when you sign in for the first time, they're gonna give you $300 of free credit completely free for an year. So what you want to do is type in your credit or debit card number. You need to keep in mind you will not be charged. After that they're going to give you all the free credit for an year. After all of that you're going to have to click the navigation menu then scroll down to the VPC network and click firework rules. Click create firework rule. Then you can type any name you want. Then scroll down to target tags and type in any name you want. I'm just going to type mine. Then go to the source IP ranges and type exactly what I typed on this video. Then select TCP and type 25565. Select create. Go back to the navigation menu. Under the compute engine you have to click VM instances. Now we're going to create an instance, type in any name you want. In machine type, I'm going to stick with the standard one computer, so my monthly estimate only will be $25, so I'll be able to last 12 months from $300. In this video, I'm going to be using this operating system and 10 gigabytes of hard drive. Tick these boxes for allow traffic and click here. Select networking. Then you have to type the exact target tag that you typed when you're creating the firewall crew. So I'm just going to type mine. And finally click create. As you can see we have successfully created our computer. The next thing we're going to do is create our Minecraft server inside the computer. Select SSH then you need to type these commands. At first we're going to update. And then install Java. With this command, we're going to create a folder to keep all the four files of the server. In here you should type the name of the folder, I'm just going to type mserver. And then we're going to go inside that folder. After that you have to go to this website called mcversions.net and find the Minecraft version that you want to create your server on. Then right click on the server jar and select copy link address. Then type wget space and paste your link here. As you can see server.jar file have been downloaded. Now we're going to run that file using this command. Type in here the amount of RAM you're going to allocate. I'm just going to type 3500 megabytes and hit enter. And then you're going to get this error message. Don't worry, we're going to fix it. First we're going to see what are the files inside our newly created folder using this command. Then we have to edit this file using this command. At first click I on your keyboard to edit this file. Then go all the way down to false using your arrow keys. Then erase it and type true. After that you can click escape on your keyboard to stop editing. And type this and hit enter to save your changes. And finally type this and hit enter to exit. If you type this command right now, your server will start to run, but as soon as you close your web browser, your server will stop. We're gonna fix that problem by using this command. Type screen and press enter. Then we're gonna go to our server folder. And then we can start our server by using this command again. After that, you can close your web browser and open Minecraft. 
This external IP is the IP address of your Minecraft server. So I'm going to type the address here. Click done. As you can see, our server is now online. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any problem, ask me down in the comments and enjoy your server.